craft bike days that have been uh, done and now back home at work. Um, it was so amazing to see how many companies are uh, creating these awesome bikes. And also notice how much influence we have been able to uh, put to the industry uh, along the way since we started as Poly Bicycle Company. And um, yeah, the, I, I see so many companies kind of using these similar methods and, and similar geometry and pushing the geometry limits and trying new things. Uh, when we started uh, the, the new geometry concept 2015 and, and launched the first Evolink 2016, there was so much pushback from, from, the, from the, um, uh, the community and uh, uh, people had to really uh, try it before they actually could believe it because the bikes were back then like uh, 20 centimeters shorter than, than our bikes that we were selling. And um, yeah, now we now we see that it, it as the norm. The longest slack is is the norm, and and uh, anything uh, pushing forward or backwards is is uh, considered different. And um, yeah, um, but there's some things that uh, we have never never really uh, uh, said or uh, revealed publicly how we actually make these frames. So this is the latest design. However, we started. Started differently, so this is some uh, stamina. There was also a machine that was before before the stamina, but uh, it had it had the bolts around the frame. I don't have that frame here because I've sold sold all of them, but this is the uh, stamina frame, and um, uh, this is how uh, the others who are doing uh, like Acto Five and and also Ministry are are doing their frames. So there's them made first. Uh, complete as these uh, two halves and then they bond it together. Um, there's nothing, nothing really wrong, wrong with this uh, method. Uh, so, so this is what, uh, this is our invention. And then of course there's some things that they have to do differently because we have hold some patents over some of the uh, things. For example, the, there's some inserts that are uh, bonded inside. That's, that's our, Painted and some in some parts of the world still patent painting, but nevertheless. But uh, uh, the biggest difference is that there's no visible seam in the new design. So with the, when you make like this, you always have a visible seam, which is the adhesive here. You cannot see where the seam is. By the way, it's not in the center, as many people think it's in the dead center. So um, also there's some companies who are producing uh, their uh, frames and some of the frame parts from single piece. So uh, the difference between single piece and uh, this bonded two piece is the biggest difference is of course aesthetical. Uh, what you can see that you need to have these pockets in order to get the weight down. However, there's also one thing is that still if you want to reach the same stiffness as uh, with the bonded uh, construction, this uh, needs to be 1.5 to 1. Point, even 1.7 times heavier than this. So this weight is 550 grams and this is uh, 320 grams. So that is a massive difference in, in, uh, in the difference of, of uh, how, how the um, weight distributes. So uh, let me give, you, give an example. So here we have a bonded piece and this is unbonded. So first I'll show uh, so how flexible the, the non-bonded version is. That this is just a, how, how thin the wall thickness is. So this is the how, <laughs> how flexible this is first without bonding. And then uh, of course we put this together uh, and uh, here, not even here, uh, the stiffness doesn't increase because the seam can move like this to the to the uh, consider to to, uh, to both sides. So when we have this part, I cannot even move it anymore. So this is the bonded version. So this is how stiff it becomes because the seams cannot move anymore. So so the adhesive is so strong that uh, like at this. If, if I glued these nails together, if it would be perfectly flat, we could hang 500 kilograms to it as a, as a maximum uh, uh, load. So, so the adhesives are, the epoxy adhesives are really, really strong. But this is uh, what we are going to continue. So you can see behind this one, 
uh, uh, very important part of the uh, process is the surface treatment. So we have uh, different kind of chemicals for how we treat it and we can get this uh, finishing as well, this really beautiful golden colors. So we are going to implement later on also bronze. So we have silver, bronze and gold in the new lineup. Uh, keep following me and so you can learn more about